What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to an unboxing video brought to you by Bearded Kaiju's and Boxer Reviews. You know, if you guys like the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, you know, share with anybody who would think like the content of this channel. Also, hit that bell notification so you're notified right away when my videos drop like this one. Um, yeah, um, before we get to this, uh, I just have to address the elephant in the room. Um, I didn't realize this. I didn't pay attention to it until I kind of started recording this and getting ready. Um, we have hit 650 subscribers. Holy buckets, dude. Holy, oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have done it again. And like I said before, I think this is the fastest we've hit our goal uh, and everything. So I am really excited and really anxious uh, to give away this prize package to one of uh, you guys and everything like that. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there is more to come. Uh, but yeah, let's let's just focus on this little victory and stuff like that. So thank you. 650 subscribers. I know we're, we're even actually over that now and everything. So uh, it just kind of flew under the radar and I didn't pay attention and stuff. So uh, thank you for everybody who has recently joined, who has shared, who has liked the videos. Uh, let's keep it going, man. Let's, oh man, I just absolutely love it. You know, I have plans for other things in the future and this is just uh, one step to that bigger goal and stuff. So thank you, everybody. Um, you know, it's it's a group effort for all of us. You know, I couldn't get to this point, obviously, without you guys. So as my appreciation to you, I'm giving you away some free stuff. So hopefully everybody likes it. And yeah, um, my video after this one will be the 650 uh, info video. And uh, I'll let you guys know how to uh, enter, especially anybody's new and hasn't done it before. Uh, I will describe and instruct you guys kind of how to do it and how we do it here. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for that one. I uh, should have it out pretty soon. And I usually typically give it about a week uh, to do that uh, for everybody to enter. And then we will do our drawing. So yeah, uh, pretty awesome. So thank you, everybody. But uh, yeah, let's do this uh, sweet double uh, kind of review today. Uh, one guy I've had for quite a while, actually, and I've been kind of waiting for this other one uh, to come in. And I just didn't realize that it would take so long. Uh, the second one did get delayed a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, but I don't think I've showed this first one off. So I really kind of wanted to just show it off. I know it's an older figure and stuff. And um, you know, time have gone by. A lot of people have had it. Some people have forgotten about it, but you know, maybe some people haven't even seen it before and everything. So just kind of wanted to talk about it, show it off for you guys. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, guys, and here it is. Here is our first review for today. Uh, this is the Toho Maniacs Planet X Alien. Uh, I know a lot of people were calling him the controller. Uh, I was one of them, honestly. I know it doesn't say the controller. It just says Planet X Alien. And honestly, if you call them the controller, who cares? I mean, really, there's no difference between them. Honestly, they all look the same. They all have the same outfit and everything. So how could you really tell? I don't think they could call them the controller, maybe because of the likeness uh, and everything for maybe the actor uh, and stuff like that. So I, I'm not really sure why they didn't call it the controller. Um, so they just call it the planet x alien and stuff like that so um if you got a whole bunch of these guys it'd be great you know you can kind of line them up and everything um but yeah it's i mean there's really no difference besides the name to these guys yeah like i said uh, we're talking about this one uh like i said this is kind of an older one uh it's been out for uh, a little while uh last year i think um i think springtime i think it came out and stuff uh maybe even early summer uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's been out. It's it's great. I love it. Uh, I kind of wanted just to kind of show it off uh, and just kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, I just think it's really cool. The X Plus Toho Maniacs line is a line that I think a lot of us have really wanted for a long, long time. Uh, we've wanted a lot of like uh, uh, human characters or the aliens uh, that we've seen uh, in these particular movies that we've loved for so long and stuff like that. And it's just finally we're we're starting to get them and stuff like that we've uh they're it's very early on in the line and stuff like that i think there's maybe five releases total uh and everything uh, yeah it'll be six well with the new atragon coming out and stuff uh but yeah it's it's a great line uh, i hope they keep doing with it i really hope they focus on the human characters and stuff like that like keep giving us uh, these aliens, you know, uh, in the human forms, you know, like the Keylocks or the Black Hole uh, 
uh, apes and stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe some of the uh, more famous characters that we got from the movies and stuff. That I don't know if they can do that, like I said, because of the likeness rights um, for that particular person. You know, they probably have to get permission. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out and stuff like that. Uh, but I really hope they kind of go that direction. Um, I, like I said, I know they're doing the Etrigan that's coming out uh, or Gotengo, um, really, uh, which is cool and stuff like that. Um, so it's like a vehicle and stuff like that. So um, maybe they'll do more vehicles in the Toho Manix line also. Uh, but I think they really need to stick with the human aspect. Like we've gotten Dr. Sarazawa and two of the Mysterians and the planet x controller you know and stuff like that so like they're, they're doing some good things with that line with the human uh, character so i hope they keep going on that um but you know every now and again you know they can uh stray away from that and everything which is great like i said they're doing the uh, gotango from atragon and stuff like that and um there's the other one that is the other half of this video uh that they strayed away from that has really been uh the talk of the town honestly and stuff like that so i'm anxious to show that off and everything but yeah this figure is great like you can see uh he's about six inches tall you know not super big or anything like that super great for small collectors or co collections you know stuff like that if you don't have a lot of space and everything this would be great for it um but obviously you can see here uh just looks really really good uh the outfit looks exactly like the film and everything with the black vest with the uh gray pants and sleeves and stuff like that with the the head uh, wear and everything with the visor glasses. I mean, the detail is really, really well done on this guy. Um, as you rotate, you can kind of see his elf shoes uh, that were really strange looking and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, that's what they wore and everything. Uh, he's doing his traditional, like, stance, kind of like when they're waiting for the controller and stuff like that. And uh, uh, they're kind of standing behind him and everything. They stand uh, at kind of like an attention, kind of like military uh, kind of thing uh, at the ready. So um, that's the kind of pose that they got going for it. And then um, obviously you see that there is a tag that comes attached to him and stuff like that. And all of the Toho Maniacs have the tags. Now, they don't come with boxes. They just come in a brown box. Uh, they're kind of blistered in and stuff like that. And that's it. Like there's no design or nothing like that that comes with the Toho Maniacs, which is fine because uh, they're so small. You don't really need to go uh, in depth and crazy design for boxes and something for them being so small. Um, so the tags are fine. Like I love tags. I keep my tags on all of my figures, especially the Bandai's and everything. Um, but so it's cool that they come with their own tag and stuff like that too. So, um, but yeah, just overall the detail on this little guy is spectacular. From the seams to the wrinkles to um, you know, like I said, the headwear, the vest, I mean, the little button on his chest, you got the little communicator or translator that's right here by his kind of his mouth and everything. Um, you got the antenna on this top of his head. You got the metal earmuffs kind of thing. Um, probably uh, they filter out probably sound because they're, of course, if you've seen uh, the movie, they're sensitive to certain sounds and everything. So um, you know, obviously they can only hear certain things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, definitely an awesome, awesome figure. Um, I definitely think, uh, if you are fans of the characters and stuff like that, definitely start checking out, um, this line. They have a lot of great stuff and everything, and it's, it's going to be a fun line. Like I, there's a lot of hope for this line in the future, and I hope we see some more, um, upcoming releases and stuff like that. Um, it seemed like, uh, last year, uh, they had, you know, this guy, they had the next one coming up, um, but then they kind of tallied off. Uh, so we had a couple good ones, but uh, I think they need to keep going strong with this line this coming year and stuff like that. So uh, here's the more. But uh, yeah, great figure. And uh, yeah, let's go on to our next one. All right, guys. And here it is. This is the one, uh, like I said, this is the talk of the town. This is the one that everybody's hyped about. Uh, everybody is scrambling to get this guy. And I can see why, but this is why I got him right away because I was super excited to get this. I mean, obviously, I have the shirt to go with him. Uh, I just think it's super cool. If you don't know this from Cavity Colors, you know, they have a great line of shirts from different movies and, um, stemming from Showa, Heisei, Millennium, all that kind of stuff. Even the uh, Legendary Monsterverse and stuff like that that they've been 
uh, starting to do too. So um, yeah, check them out if you want cool Godzilla merch and everything. Um, but yeah, this is just, oh man, this is really, really fire. <laughs> this really is. Um, I love this. And as you can see, he is bigger than your typical um, human character in the Toho Maniacs. Uh, maybe an inch, you know, uh, bigger and stuff like that. But um, he's a lot bigger, obviously, for a reason, because he is a representation of a Godzilla in some way and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, as you can see this, oh man, the detail on this is just, fantastic i mean for a smaller figure like this is uh they just got every little detail in this thing and they just oh man they hit it out of the park with the details and what it looks like proportions everything about this looks like it stepped out of the film into miniature size it really does like this is kind of like what you could see on the table of the miniature in the movie when they were talking about it and showing it off. You saw the miniature little Godzilla in it uh, for, for the children's land and stuff. So this is basically what it is. And so, I mean, who could not say that they watched Godzilla vs. Gaggy and saw that little miniature and was like, oh my gosh, I want that so bad, you know? Here you go. Like, this is basically it. So uh, really, really cool. Uh, let's do a 360. Obviously, you can see right in front is the kind of elevator stairs portion to get up to his head. And obviously, you saw our characters having to traverse all the way up these stairs and stuff. And like I said, you can kind of see them zigzagging back and forth. And they had to make their way all the way up and stuff like that. And it's just really, really cool. Um, this front portion of like the elevator slash stairs is vinyl it really is but it's see-through vinyl and stuff like that so it's still soft and everything you can squish it and stuff but you can actually see through and stuff so um if anybody was talented enough to maybe put a light in this thing or something like that you could probably do it and it light up really really nice so that would be really really cool um but yeah like i said just everything about this just looks so great um it, and like i said um all the toho maniacs have the tag so of course I have the tag, it is still attached uh, and everything. But yeah, even the back here, the, the spines are just like the film. Um, I always thought they were really dumb as a kid because I was I was like, that doesn't look like Godzilla spines. Like, that's just weird. That That's not even right, you know, kind of thing. But um, obviously, they kind of had to do it so it wasn't exactly Godzilla, but you got the idea uh, and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, and then you kind of go around here and you can see the flatness of his tail that you saw in the film also that they made it very uh, slim and smooth and stuff like that. So you have that and oh man, just, I just absolutely love this. This is just so good. So good. Let's flip the uh, tag to the other side and same thing with the other side. Just, oh man, just gorgeous in every single way. Oh man. If, and if only his eyes were translucent also, that would be perfect. And maybe even his mouth, so then you really could put a light in here, and then his mouth and his eyes lit up. Like, that would be just, oh, chef's kiss. Mm, oh, my goodness gracious. That would be really awesome. So you could have the whole thing. But, like, this thing is just detail. I mean, even you see in the front down here. Oh, let's see if we can get really close. I mean, that's the door. That's the door that they, the small unit of military people go in and set up the boxes of dynamite and everything, and ultimately um, how they destroy uh, Godzilla Tower and stuff like that. So um, really, really cool. Everything, I just love the little details that they got on everything about this. Uh, it's just amazing. And of course, there is also another detail that is part of this. I know there's a lot of um, flack for it and everything. Nobody liked it. I was one of them, just kind of how they put it on here. And I was like, God, I hope that's, you know, you can take that off and everything. Uh, and I, we were right. And I was so glad because then you could take it off if you want to or put it on. It's really up to you. So let's take a look at it. So of course, what I'm talking about is the balloon. <laughs> we cannot forget about this because obviously this is how our heroes escaped from the Godzilla Tower and everything. Um, so they had to include this. And you really do. Like it's kind of part of it and everything. But just kind of how they had it on display and everything, I didn't like it, how it kind of rested on its head and stuff. Um, but I am glad that they did add this. And if you can put it on, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. 
at least it gives the customer the options. It's just It's just the white balloon. Uh, it's bendable wire, so you can pose it however you want and stuff like that. It's got a little piece of like plastic in there that you could actually put it in the base and it actually goes on the side. And just kind of like that, like you can put it uh, under his arm, you can put it outside his arm, you can drape it over, you know, wherever, you know, you kind of want to position and stuff like that um, to kind of resemble, you know, their escape route and their escape uh, <laughs> plan to get out of the Godzilla Tower, you know, where they get out of the eye and they uh, ride down this uh, balloon with rope and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you can just have it just like that and you don't have to bend it nothing, but it is nice to give the customer the option of either taking it out, putting it on, bending it, not bending it, whatever, you know, I do like that. So applaud them for that. But this thing is just amazing in every way. And obviously you can see this is where it pins into the base and stuff like that. And then that you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to fall out or nothing. So uh, just, I just love this so much. I really, really do. Just a lot of detail. I mean, the Godzilla himself just looks perfect in every way. Um, just like I said, from the film, it looks amazing. It really, really does. Oh my goodness. Now, I will say, I was excited for this release at Wonderfest last year. I really was but I was really hoping for a bigger size. I know a lot of people are saying that, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, at least we got one. I understand that. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got one. I, I, I am really glad because obviously I got it for a reason, but I am a stickler for size and everything can be the same size for me and everything and scales well to each other, you know, and you can put stuff next to each other and it's all perfect, you know? Um, so that's what I want. I want a 30 centimeter, Godzilla Tower. Um, that's what I want. I really do. I think a lot of people would buy it. Um, this thing is proof that people have been clamoring for something like this for a very long time and people are buying it. Like a lot of people right now are are frantically trying to get their hands on this stuff because a lot of people uh, missed the pre-order or they forgot about it or just completely missed it. I don't know, you know, maybe money issue. Um, but like now people are like, holy cow, like they're seeing them in hand and they're like, wow, I need this really bad. So um, I can understand it and I understand why, because this thing is just a knockout figure for sure. Um, it is gorgeous. It really is. And it's, it's just cool to put in your collection because there is not a lot of representations of uh, the Godzilla Tower or even the Planet X Alien 2. Like there's only a few, you know, from maybe like Cast and um, Marmot did a Godzilla tower and stuff like that and i got both of those and now i have the toho maniac so um i think i have all of the representations of the godzilla tower right now but yeah i'm really hoping for a bigger version of it hopefully we get it and hopefully they see you know with the sales that they're like okay this is in high demand and we need to make sure that this um gets out in different scales and stuff like that so um you know because x plus they we know they love to make money you know they uh, love doing the reissues and all that stuff. So, I mean, do this in a little bit bigger scale and man, I'd be happy, happy, happy. So, um, but yeah, having both of these figures is just awesome. The collection, um, like I said, I am, I am really excited for the Planet X alien and any other human characters that come out in this line, hopefully with the Wonderfest coming up uh, in a few weeks, actually, maybe a week and a half. Um, that we maybe see uh, on the next release in the Toho Maniacs, because we don't even know. Um, besides the uh, Gotango, um, and that one is almost done for pre-order, actually, on the X Plus site. Um, so if you want to get it, get it now. Um, but yeah, other than that, we don't have a release or an idea of what's coming out next for the Toho Maniacs line. So, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for some of the big ones, you know, and stuff like that. So um, maybe, maybe Miss Namikawa, you know, or uh, astronaut Glenn and Fuji, you know, um, I mean, there you can do so much, like I said, uh, from this line for human characters that, you know, I hope they really tackle them and stuff like that and just get some really unique ones because they're not even just doing just Godzilla. They're doing all Toho. Like I said, they're doing uh, Gotenga from Atragon. They did Matango, the, the mushroom uh monster um they've done the mysterians two out of the three colors you know we're just missing the blue one um so like they're doing it all and i really love that so 
Um, they need to keep that up. I love that they're doing this line. Uh, like I said, it's very early on in the line. Um, but yeah, I think this line and the FSL line for X plus have been uh, really solid lines. And I think they're the most excited lines that I'm uh, really looking forward to stuff coming out this coming year and stuff. So, um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> enough rambling from me and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys, you enjoy this real quick video and stuff like that. Uh, maybe you guys like it. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you again to 650 subscribers. Like I said, uh, keep a lookout for the next video going to be popping up for the details of the giveaway and stuff like that. And then, like I said, I'll give it a full week to enter and then we will do the giveaway and then obviously on to the next goal. So I'm really happy, excited. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Um, I, I just really do appreciate it. And Leave in the comments, you know, what you guys think of these figures, you know, and stuff like that. Did you get them? Did you not get them? Is there anybody that you're really looking forward to that X Plus puts out in the Toho Maniacs line? Like, let me know. Like, uh, I want to see what other um, great ideas you guys have because, you know, I have a certain few that I want, but maybe there's some that I'm missing and everything. So um, let me know. I want to see. So, um, but yeah. And of course, um, if you want to see more of me of my ugly mug, you know, check me out in the Monsters with Attitude YouTube channel. We do a show once a month. And then obviously in the Facebook group, Monsters with Attitude Collectors group, um, you can post anything monster related in there. Um, you know, it's it's just a, it's a great group and stuff like that. We're growing uh, slowly but surely, you know, we are. And uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, just a lot of posting, a lot of um, great interaction with fans and everything like that. And that's what we are. So, um, but yeah, check me out on either one of those. And of course, Subscribe to the channel, you know, leave a like, you know, share it, spread the word, you know, let's keep getting up to these giveaway drawings and uh, yeah, let's give away some more. So, but yeah, with that, until next time, later.